show you how you can create an experiment with randomized assignment in Qualtrics. So when you're in Qualtrics um, on your particular survey, you're going to want to go into survey flow. Um, survey flow is right up here at the top. When you're in survey flow, one of the things that you're going to want to do is to add a new element. Um, I'm actually going to um, make my element a randomizer. And then in here, I need to tell it which particular blocks I want to add. So I'm going to do the cell number one. I'm going to do cell number two. Cell number three. This has a lot of experimental cells in this one. So essentially, in every single experimental cell, I'm going to add it as a block down at the bottom. And this just, because I have so many, this is just going to take a hot minute here. Oh, it looks like I probably have them all. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, that's it. Okay, so what I have here is I have a randomizer where it's going to randomly present. I'm going to change it to one of these blocks. These are my eight different um, experimental options randomly present one of these blocks evenly. So because they're being um, shown down there in the randomizer, I don't want to have them appear in the normal flow. Essentially what I want to have happen is I want my experimental participants to first come to the con uh, consent form, which is the first block, and then I want them to be randomly assigned to my one of eight different cells. Um, most experiments do not have eight cells. So this one is a little bit large um, because it's a two by four factorial design. But I'll go ahead and put in uh, my cells in here. And let's see. And I'm going to actually move this up now. So what's going to happen in the flow is first they're going to come to the consent, then they're going to come to one evenly presented of these eight cells, and then they're going to come to the um, post-test, and then they're going to do this final block in there. So I'll just go ahead and press save flow. And you'll notice in here that in order to make that work on the back end, is I had to have the consent form in its own block, so I can go ahead and minimize that block. Now I have my stimulus number one is set up where I'm telling them to read. I can't advance to the next page until I read this. I read this, and then I'm also keeping them on this page for 20 seconds where they do not have the opportunity to pass go. That's its own block. Same thing here with a different quote in there for my changed manipulation, next cell is its own block, and so on and so forth, where each of these cells are their own block. And then I have all of the post-test measures in the um, same block here. And then I just have a overall, thanks, this business is over. So. That is how you set up your survey flow so that you can take people from a common starting ground, the consent form, randomly assign them to one of however many cells that you have, and then everybody loops back to all do the exact same 
post-test and whatever you might have after the post-test. Good luck and happy researching.